Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. So in today's video, we are going to talk about our next topic in robot framework, which is weights and timeouts in robot framework. So this will be a part one video. We will be covering this whole topic in our three videos. So this is the first video and in our upcoming two videos, we'll be completing this topic. So let's start by opening my PyCharm here. So I'm going to create one new file into my directory here and I'll give this robot file a name as let's say speedtest.robot and if I press enter this will give me the workspace for my program. So here I'm going to first create my settings section and here inside my settings section I'll be including the library. So I'll type library and here I'm going to specify the library which I want to use. So selenium library is my library. So this is the setting section and after setting section I don't need variable section because I am not using any variables inside this. So directly I'm going to write test cases and inside my test cases I'm going to write my test case here. So first I'm going to start writing my test case by writing the name of the test case. So let's give this test case a name as again a speed test and inside my speed test indentation I'm going to start my program. So first I'm going to open my browser and open this website here. So we have been using this website from last two videos. In this website only we are going to run our test case. So here I'm going to open my browser first and inside my open browser I'm going to specify the URL here. So I'm going to copy the URL and I'm going to paste the URL here and then I'm going to specify the browser name in which I want to open. So Chrome is my browser name. After that I'm going to maximize my browser window and then I'm going to write my commands here. So first we are going to fill the form here. So I'm going to right click and inspect onto the first name here and I'm going to use name here instead of using xpath. So we can always use xpath but in this case we are going to use name because name is given here. Name for this text box here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to copy the name and then I'm going to write here input text because it's a text box and then I'm going to write here name and I'm going to paste the name which I copied and then I'm going to write what I want to write in this text box. So let's say I want to write coders and then I'm going to go to my next input box which is the last name input box. So I'm going to inspect this one again and here I'm going to copy the name for this text box. So I'm going to write input text and then I'm going to write name and then I'm going to paste the name here and after that I'm going to specify what I want to write. So arcade is, uh, is what I want to write. So I've written arcade here and then I am going to go to my next section which is the gender section. So I'm going to click on to this female radio button. So I'm going to inspect it and here I am going to copy the name here. I'm going to copy and then I'm going to write my command which is so what was the command which we used in our radio button test case that was select radio button and then I'm going to specify the name here and then I'm going to write the value so value is female so I'm going to copy this value and then I'm going to paste my value here and then after that I'm going to select the next radio button let's say I want to select five. So I'm going to inspect onto this and then I'm going to copy the name again and then I'm going to write select radio button and then I'm going to specify the name and after that I'm going to give the value for it. So since I'm going to select five so the value is also five here so I'm going to write five and then and let's say I'm done with this I'm going to close my browser. So let's close the browser. So we filled this form from first name and then last name then we specified the gender and then we ticked on to what years of chai drinking is. So I'm going to fill till here only for a testing. I'm not going to fill this whole form. So I'm going to now run it. So what is the 
idea behind this code we are going to check the speed of our execution of our commands so i'm going to go to my terminal and here i'm going to write robot now this robot keyword will call the robot function and then i'm going to give my directory name as automation and then after giving one backslash, backslash i'm going to specify my file name so my file name is speed test dot robot and then if i press enter you will see it will open it and it will maximize the window when it's loaded and then it will fill the form so right now this will be very fast see it was very fast it actually passed but it was so fast that we couldn't see the changes it made so what we are going to do is we have to give a sleep command before our every command so let's say i want to give sleep for let's say 3 seconds so i'm going to write 3 here after writing sleep command so what this will do is after opening the browser and the url it will maximize the browser window then now it will wait for 3 seconds and then it will start writing this whole thing so let's run it again and check if it's working or not so first of all i'm going to clear this terminal so for that i'm going to write cls and press enter so this will clear it and then if i press up arrow it will give me the previous command which i gave so if i press enter you can see it opened it then it will maximize it after it's loaded and it will wait for 3 seconds and still it was fast so it waited only here after maximizing the browser window so if we want to make robot framework wait after every command what we are going to do we are going to copy this sleep 3 after every command so here and then after here so instead of doing that we are going to use another command which is set selenium speed so what this will do is it will wait after every command so that we can see the changes it makes so i'm going to write let's say 3 seconds and if i run my code again in my terminal you can see it opened the browser now it will wait till it's loaded it will maximize it and then it will give 3 seconds gap between each command so after 3 seconds it it will write arcade then after 3 seconds it will select the female radio button see now we can see them changes it makes so it selected the female button and then after that it will select number 5 once the wait is completed now after 3 second it will close the browser so you can see our test is passed see our test is passed so this was my main point that i wanted to cover set selenium speed this is the method one for our waits and timeouts but let me show you one thing also if you want to check on what is your selenium speed before this command what i am going to do is i am going to create a new variable here let's say i am going to create a variable let's say speed and after giving speed i am going to give one tab space and then here i am going to write get selenium speed so what this variable will do in this variable the speed for the selenium execution will be stored in this speed variable and to print this selenium speed there is one command called log to console so this log to console command will print what this will print our speed variable so what i did here i created a new variable there i gave the command get selenium speed so selenium speed will be stored into this variable then to print this selenium speed i have this command called log to console now log to console what it will do is it will print this variable to our terminal 
So this way we will be able to see on what step, what is the speed for the selenium. So I have given set selenium speed three seconds after maximizing my browser window. And here I have specified the get selenium speed. So what this will do is this will print the current selenium speed before going to this command. And if I copy this whole command and then if I press enter after close browser and then if I paste it here, now what this will do is it will first tell us what the speed of selenium is here right now. And then after executing the whole program, what is the speed at the end? It will print. So I'm going to go to my terminal here and then if I write CLS, this will clear the terminal. And then if I execute my robot framework command, if you see it, so I'll skip this part for you. So it's done. So as you can see, our test is passed. And here if you see at starting, speed was zero seconds. So by default, if we don't write this command set selenium speed, the default speed will be zero. That is why you will not be able to see the changes it makes after the default value, which is zero. That is why we use this selenium set selenium speed command and we set the speed for selenium is as three seconds. So at starting it was zero seconds and after getting executed, the selenium speed was three seconds as you can see. So this log to console printed this three seconds here, this, this log to console, because this zero second came from this command and this three seconds came from this command. So this is how we get to know our speed of our program execution. So this was part one. In our coming videos, we are going to talk about more commands like this. Set selenium speed. So instead of selenium speed, we can write another command, but we are going to discuss it in our next video. So this is our code. So this is all about this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video. And if you like it, then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts, then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also, like, share and subscribe to our channel Coders Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video. Thank you. Happy learning.